The attenuation rate is A is equal to minus 8.68 alpha times Z. So we know alpha is 0.2, so we get minus 1.74 Z, and that's in decibels. Then for part E, there are two approaches, and both of which will give the same answer as in part B. So the first one is we could use our attenuation rate that we just calculated. We could say minus 1.74, which is also in decibels, times z. We want to know when is that equal to minus 40 dB. And if we solve that, we'll get z is 23 meters. Another approach is that we could use the same methodology as in part b, minus 40 dB, and use 10 log base 10 of s, the pointing vector magnitude, at z versus 0. So you, maybe this is why you can see we're going to also get 23 meters again, as in part b. We have 10 here, but we're also comparing the uh, magnitudes of the pointing vector. So we have an expression for the pointing vector from part c. And so if you plug that in and follow the same procedure as before, so let's see, we can divide by 10. So we get minus 4 dB, and we're left with log base 10, this part. And then we can say 10 to the minus 4 is, take everything to the power of 10. And we can plug in for s, so s hat 125e to the minus 0.4z over z hat, because that power is propagating in the z direction, 125 minus 0.4 times 0. So we get z's to cancel, 125's to cancel. We're going to get e to the minus 0.4z. Then we can take the natural logarithm of both sides. We have ln 10 to the minus 4 is minus 0.4z, and again, if we solve for z, we get 23 meters.